Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Oksana and today I want to take you along with me to the Christmas shopping at Hobby Lobby. I know you might be thinking it's a little early for Christmas, but I remember last year in November the shelves at Hobby Lobby were already half empty. So if you want to have the full selection of items, it's actually a really good idea to start your shopping early. If you want to buy what you actually want to buy and not what's left over, you know what I mean? Now this year I was pleasantly surprised by the choice of different different decor themes because I feel like Hobby Lobby has been more like farmhouse and classic decor in the past but in recent years they have really stepped up their game. I found almost all the trends that I talked about in my Christmas decor trends video. If you haven't watched it yet I will leave a link for you as well as I found many very nice designer decor dupes so I want to show you everything that I think deserve your attention. And at the end of the video I will show you everything I bought so it will definitely give you a sneak peek into how I will be decorating my Christmas tree this year. I think next week or the week after I will be already starting my Christmas decorating video series. So I hope you are as excited as I am. But for now let's go shopping first and I hope you enjoy the tour. Right at the entrance I spotted the very first trend I mentioned in my video about Christmas decor trends for this year is this freely birch trees and twig trees with some sort of crystal little flowers. This year alternative Christmas trees are very popular and I would say these are the best prices I've seen so far. So I think it's a great deal for sure. In the candle section I found these birch candles. In general I feel like the birch theme is also a bit of a trend because this year we are seeing a lot of birch candles, birch locks, ornaments, ribbons and wrapping paper with the birch look. So there are definitely many birch things to choose from. But particularly these candles look very similar to the Pottery Barn and Crate and Barrel birch candles but of course these are way more budget friendly. They are not exactly the same because both Pottery Barn and Crate and Barrel candles have that beautiful flickering wick on top but if you are in a tight budget you can certainly achieve a very similar look with these ones. I've also found birch pillar candles in Kirkland's so if you're interested in anything other than the Hobby Lobby items I mentioned today all the links will be in the description box for you. And while I'm slowly moving on to the Christmas section, I want to draw your attention to these velvet ribbons. They look very fancy and elegant. These would look great when wrapping gifts or if you just want to add a little color and festive flair to something. For example, last year I used the red velvet ribbon to decorate my centerpiece from Fresh Greenery. I love all these colors. They have very unique and beautiful shades. I love this muted green, this gorgeous blue and dark blue. And the white velvet ribbon will look beautiful if contrasted with dark colored wrapping paper, for example. So make sure to check them out. Now let's see what they have in the section with the stamps. I can say that there was a very large selection, maybe not everything was on display yet, I'm not sure. But here you can quickly notice a major trend for this year berries because berries are everywhere available in various colors and sizes. I really like this champagne colored branch with snow covered berries and I also like these burgundy stems all strewn with berries. If this color was in my theme I would definitely buy these stems because it's very big and full you can definitely separate it into several smaller sprigs and use it to decorate just about anything. If you like spruce then you will definitely love this fluffy flocked stem. I think it's very pretty and if you have for example a sparse tree you can take several of these stems and fill it up. Your tree will get a beautiful texture and will certainly look much more fuller and fluffier. And just a quick reminder all the Christmas items at Hobby Lobby are currently 50% off so keep that in mind when I show you the prices. These trees caught my attention because they look almost identical to the mercury glass trees from Pottery Barn. They come, I believe, in three sizes and have battery operated lights inside. In my opinion, they have a very high end look and I think they are just as good as the ones from Pottery Barn. So be sure to check them out if you are looking for a stylish tabletop decor. 
Okay guys, I'm finally getting to the Christmas section and honestly it's hard to even call it a section because literally half of this giant store is dedicated to Christmas decor. I'm just amazed at the scale. There were many different trees for every size and taste, but besides regular trees, Hobby Lobby has another trend covered. I see we can find alpine trees here too. I think these prices are unbearable because these trees usually cost much more in other places. Here you can see what the birch tree that we looked at the entrance looks like when it's all fluffed up. And I really like this sparse pine tree. I think it's so beautiful and looks very stylish. There was also a wide selection of different tabletop Christmas trees and these can cost several times more in designer stores. But in most cases there is nothing particularly special there that would be worth paying extra. So I think that these tabletop trees are just as good but come at a much more affordable price so definitely check them out okay let's move on to the Christmas tree decorations these ornaments are so beautiful and I don't remember seeing anything like them last year correct me if I'm wrong I think it's something new and the colors are gorgeous if you are going for a peacock theme or something with similar colors hurry up and grab these ornaments because I'm sure they will sell out in no time I love this blue berry garland, it's so beautiful and unique. Here's the champagne color section and again, if this color is in your theme, I would recommend not waiting too long because champagne colored ornaments are usually one of the first to sell out. I know this from my own experience. And by the way, this is the only champagne colored deer I found in the entire store, so I picked it up and thought I would decide later whether I need it or not. And here's a whole aisle dedicated to the sweet trees decorations, another huge trend. So let's check if all the trends will be covered by Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure if these empty shelves mean the items are already sold out or if they just haven't been put on display yet, but my gut feeling says they already sold out because this theme is crazy popular. Alright, the next aisle is all about woodland and rustic themes and you already know from my video that this is the biggest trend for this year. And again, I can't remember Hobby Lobby having such a wide variety of decor in this theme last year, so another trend checked off. The last mushroom left hanging here and that's because mushrooms are all the rage this year, so another trend marked off the list. Oh my god guys, this bird is absolutely massive. Honestly, I would probably be freaked out if I came across one like this in real life. I love these ornaments, they definitely have a designer look and they seem really high quality. If these colors fit your theme, definitely think about them as unique accent ornaments for your tree. They will look gorgeous. In the candle holder section, I found these birch pillar candle holders. So you've got all the options when it comes to birch themed items. You can choose birch candles themselves, or you can go for these birch candle holders, which can be used with any candles you prefer to create a similar style. And I also really like these mercury glass candle holders with pine sprigs and pine cones. These beautiful beaded mercury glass LED candles look very similar to the ones at Pottery Barn. I think they look very high-end. Okay, let's go through the ribbons and I'll show you the ones I believe deserve your attention. But overall, I would say all the ribbons at Hobby Lobby are worth your attention because their prices are simply unbeatable. Because if you shop for ribbons elsewhere, they're usually very expensive. I think this kind of mirrored silver ribbon looks very high-end. It will look beautiful in gift decorations and despite its pretty small size, I think it will look gorgeous on a Christmas tree too because it will reflect so much light. I also like this birch ribbon it has a designer look and i like this sheer ribbon because it has a very subtle and delicate very interesting creamy shade i think it can add such a beautiful softness and shine to the tree this large ribbon will also look stunning on a tree reflecting a ton of lights it has a designer look for sure and given its size i think it's a great find as well as this net ribbon again it's a great size and when you put it on a tree 
tree is going to add a lot of volume, fluffiness and sparkle, I think it will look very beautiful. This ribbon looks very high-end, it would be a perfect choice for Victorian style tree or something similar and it would also look gorgeous on gifts as well. Alright, let's take a quick look at the wreaths and here we can spot another huge trend that Hobby Lobby has also picked up this year, the Real Touch Greenery. I like this wreath a lot, it has a great size and it looks very beautiful and high quality. As well as this twig flocked wreath with pine cones, I think it has a very designer and stylish look. In the section with sprays and peaks, I noticed that most of them are kind of short and while they can certainly work for filling up smaller trees, I wonder why they don't have more like full-sized peaks. I think these peaks have a designer look and they are different and as you can see there are only two left. I like the color of this velvet poinsettia, it's very beautiful. And I love these branches with crystals, they have such a delicate look and would bring a lot of light reflection to the tree with their scattered crystals. If you like pine cones, you can always add them to a tree by simply adding pine cone peaks. I like this pine peak, it's very fluffy and pretty. Okay guys, let me show you everything I got and I think let's start with Christmas ornaments because this time I was mainly focused on decorations for my Christmas tree because my brain just works better when I can focus on one thing at a time. For the home decor stuff, I think I will go one more time. So I got two packs of these white walls. I believe they're six inches in diameter and these are the largest size balls you can find at Hobby Lobby. And I really encourage you to not be afraid to buy and use large ornaments because you get the best look when you mix different sizes. Alright, next I got two packs of these clear balls. But they have very subtle white snowflakes and they all covered with glitter. These are already 4 inches in size and I want to say that regardless of your color theme, it's always a good idea to add clear bubbles because they reflect light but at the same time they let the light go through which creates a very beautiful sense of depth and dimension on your decorated tree. I also got two packs of these. It's like a flocked round ornaments made of wire and twigs. I like the natural look, I think they are very pretty, but as you can see compared to the 4 size inches balls, they are already smaller. And very similar to them, I also got one pack of these. They're a little bit bigger, they're 4 inches, but they're not plucked. But also very natural look and I think very pretty too. I also got the pack of these champagne balls. But honestly, I'm still thinking about them because they're such a mess, first of all. But also because I'm still thinking about this color on my tree. So I will think about them. But I want to say that if you are okay with messy ornaments like this, they will reflect so much light and will look gorgeous on a tree. So if you have a champagne color in your theme, I think they will add so much beautiful sparkle. I also got these small white bubbles, they are only 3 inches in size and they are all covered with chunky glitter, so I think they will add a lot of sparkle too. Alright, and I think the last ornaments I picked up are these cute owls. And they are also all covered with glitter. And I know a lot of you guys just hate glitter, but I'm a fan of sparkle. I enjoy having lots of lights on my tree, so I want my ornaments and decor pieces really catch and reflect that light. For me it's beautiful, that's why I almost never use matte ornaments, I always prefer either shine or sparkle, but I totally understand if you hate glitter. Alright, what else? I also got two ribbons, I'm not sure if I will use any of them, we will see, because when I start to decorate my tree I will figure out if I want to use any of these ribbons. So I got this birch one, I couldn't resist it. I think it will very nicely complement the nature of decor that I got. 
And this ribbon is very interesting. It has natural color and fabric, but has sparkle fringe at the edges. I think it will look beautiful. Next, I got these gorgeous crystal peaks. I think they look so beautiful, like drops of ice. And when you fluff it, it's even more beautiful. I wish they'd be a little bit bigger, but it's okay, I like them anyway. Also, I got a lot of the small pinecon picks. They're only 70 or 80 cents. I'm planning to flock them and also use on my tree because this year I want lots of pine cones. I think I got 10 of them, but currently I'm looking for more pine cone picks. So if you know where you can get the nice ones, definitely let me know. Oh, there's more ornaments. I also got two packs of these crystals. I think they are very pretty too. And the last thing I got, this crystal garland. I only found one in the store. It was just laying around somewhere, but I think it's going to add a really nice, beautiful sparkle touch to the tree. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed our shopping together and this haul. If you need more Christmas inspiration, definitely check out my Christmas playlist. And let me know what your theme is going to be this year. I'm really interested. I will see you all in the next video very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.